Good morning, morning. We do our morning devotion. I have company coming today. Praise the Lord. I'm not sure. I will do Sunday service sometime today. But I know when he gets here, we'll be live streaming too. So, uh, a Bible study. This is November 24th. 2019. Good morning. It's beautiful Sunday morning. It's telling me that it's 48 degrees today in Valdosta, Georgia. There are only two basic emotions in life. Love and fear. Turning my attention towards his love for me only increases my love for him. One of the more meaningful parts of my life is the five-minute vacations I take. I take. They can happen anytime or anywhere. Amen. The amount of time I take varies, but the activity does not. For example, if I'm in my office, I'll ask my secretary <laughs> to hold my calls for a few minutes. I will sit down and generally close my eyes and pray something like this. God, I'm going to sit here quietly just to be the object of your love. The love of his love for us is huge. Like into the water that flows over Niagara Falls. Except Niagara is too small. Becoming aware of that love and experiencing that love is wonderfully beyond words. It has a side benefit of driving out all fear. Our scripture reading down today is in Psalms 46. So let's go to Psalms 46. No, I didn't. I have not been up too long, so that's okay. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear to the earth, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Selah. Selah means to pause and think on it. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he has made in the earth. He maketh his wars to cease. Unto the end of the earth he breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burns the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our ref refuge. Selah. Amen. Praise the Lord for his morning devotion. So... Let's get to our prayer for this part of our, of our devotion. I will be still and know that you are God. You are good. You are faithful. Help me to take a, a five minute vacation right now with you. See, it only takes, it don't, you can take five minutes each day to spend time with the Lord. Just like he said, if you work, Take five minutes to out of you. I mean, we, even when I worked, we all get a break. You all get a break from work. If you if you cannot spend time with God, say in the break area, there's always a restroom. There's always a place to get in that secret place with your Lord. Help me to take a five minute vacation right now and simply be the object of your love. Here I am, Father. 
the one you have set your love upon. I simply receive in a place of stillness and rest. I like the first thing every morning. Yes, we all have problems. Yes, we all have bills. Yes, I'm not saying I ha don't have needs. We all have needs. We all, that's part of life. That's part of human nature. But I, when I have my time with my Lord, I block out everything, everything out of my mind and just concentrate on his goodness. Concentrate on how much he loves us. Concentrate on him dying on the cross. He took, he took the nails for our sins. Though he did no wrong, he hung up on that cross for all our sins. Praise God. He took the nails for our sins, though he did no wrong. He walked this earth for a very short time when he took the nails. He sacrificed for all the world when he took the nail. He was wounded, he was bruised, he was persecuted, and he took the nail. He took the nail. I don't have my songbook with me, but anyway. He took the nails for our sins, though he did no wrong. He did no wrong, though, and he opened not his mouth. That tells me, you can read that in Isaiah 53, where it was prophesied before even the New Testament came about, about Jesus coming to earth and about what will happen to him. When he came to this earth, it was prophesied in the Old Testament about Jesus and that he would die on the cross for our sins. He loved us so much. Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of Romans chapter 10. Brethren, my heart's desire and my prayer to God for them is for their salvation. For I testify about them that they have a zeal for God, but not in accordance with knowledge. For not knowing about God's righteousness and seeking to establish their own, they did not subject themselves to the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. For Moses writes, that the man who practices the righteousness which is based on law shall live by that righteousness. But the righteousness based on faith speaks as follows. Do not say in your heart, who will ascend into heaven? That is, to bring Christ down. Or who will descend into the abyss? That is, to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is, the word of faith which we are preaching. That if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes, resulting in righteousness. And with the mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. For the scripture says, Whoever believes in him will not be disappointed. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord is Lord of all, abounding in riches for all who call on him. For whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? How will they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how will they hear without a preacher? How will they preach unless they are sent? 
just as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news of good things. Why are missionaries willing to uproot their lives and learn new customs and languages? Why do people step out of their comfort zone to tell a neighbor about Christ? It's the universal call of God, and it involves all of us who are believers. We're to proclaim the gospel, whether we bear the title of missionary or not. We share the good news with others because of mankind's spiritual condition. Without Christ, people are enslaved to sin and destined for eternal condemnation. Although most try to manufacture righteousness through good works or false religion, they can never live up to God's perfect standard. We share the good news because of God's gracious provision. In love, God sent His Son to satisfy the penalty for our sin and raised Him to life in victory. But the world needs Christians to share this good news in order for people to choose to confess and believe. We share the good news because of the Great Commission. Everyone who belongs to Jesus is charged with the responsibility of going and making disciples of all nations, teaching them to obey His commands. To accomplish this great task, we've been given the Holy Spirit, who opens hearts and empowers our witness. And we share the good news because of Jesus' promise. After giving the Great Commission, Jesus assured His disciples of the success of this mission, saying, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Though this is our calling as believers, that doesn't mean sharing the gospel is always easy. Pray for the courage and compassion to share and for people's hearts to receive God's truth. Then trust the Spirit to do His work. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you're holy. Lord, you're holy. Lord, you're holy. Good morning, precious saints. So good to be coming to you again. Amen. Looking forward to going into the presence of God with you on this morning. And you know, this morning in this morning prayer session, I just want to share with you about a ridiculous breakthrough. That's what I feel the Holy Ghost want me to join my faith with and pray with you this morning. That God himself would give you a ridiculous breakthrough on this day. My friend, my sister, my brother, God sees you. He knows exactly where you are. He knows exactly what it is that you're dealing with. He knows exactly what it is you're going through. He sees how your back have been up against the wall. And I believe on this morning, the Holy Ghost is going to give you a ridiculous breakthrough. Glory to God. And just before I pray with you, listen, I want to read the word of God to you about a ridiculous breakthrough. When David had to face the giant by the name of Goliath. Listen to what the Bible says. In 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 41. Listen. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David. And the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. He made fun of him. For he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. David was only 17 years old. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Glory to God. The curse will be broken before this day is over in the name of Jesus. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And he cursed David by his gods. Verse 44. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me. And I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air, unto the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. 
But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. And that's what we got to say to the devil this morning. We are coming to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the living God. We know what the Bible says. At the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Listen to verse 46. David said, this day will the Lord deliver you into my hand and I will smite you and take your head from you and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day under the fowls of the air and under the white. Okay, it's going to mess up now. Praise God. Thank you. Wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saves not with a sword and spear. For the battle is the Lord's. And he will Amen. give you into our hands. And it came to pass. When the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David. That David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took a stone and sang it and smote the Philistine in his forehead. Oh, don't the Holy Spirit knows how to find the weakness in the enemy? The very part of the enemy that was not protected, that's exactly where the Holy Ghost allowed a stone to land. And Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Just the mention of your name. Flowers grow, the desert blooms again. Like the hunt, oh, in winter cold, oh, like you. Precious gold, Jesus, just the mention of your name. Like a lighthouse to a sailor in the midst of a midnight storm. Like a harbor to a ship that's battered and torn. Like bread to a starving empty heart. Like fresh running water to a soul that's parched. Jesus. Just the mention of your name. Jeremy, sing this verse with me, if you will, please. Like a lighthouse to a sailor in a midnight storm. Like a harbor to a ship battered and torn like bread to a starving empty heart like fresh running water on a desert to a soul that's parched Jesus just mention of your name Jesus, just the mention of your name. Flowers grow, the desert blooms again. Hallelujah. Like fire. Winter cold, 
Oh, like pure, precious gold, Jesus, just the mention of your name. of your name, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, just the mention of your name. Be back on the wild for our son.